So let's see how you can manage access to your resources using role-based access control in Harness or RBAG as we call it. So in Harness, you can control access at three different scopes or hierarchy, which are uh, account, org or project scope. Let me go to the account scope and explain you the access control and we can go forward after that. So RBAG is basically who can perform what actions on what resources. So the actions are defined in roles. The resources are contained within uh, resource groups and users, user groups or service account become the principle to which the role assignment is done. Let's go and see what are within these buckets. So roles, as you can see, you already have three built-in roles provided by Harness and this covers the most common scenarios so that you can straight away go and assign it to the user groups and be done with it. However, you can always create your custom roles and uh, then go forward with your uh, access management. Likewise, in resource groups, we can see that there are two built-in resource groups provided by Harness. So the first one is the resources, including child scopes, which means it will include the resources in any org or project that's created within this account. The all account level resources specifies the resources which are only within this account level and it is not propagated to the org or project level. Let me go and create a new resource group for this uh, video and let's call it custom resource group. Save it. Now you can see that uh, it asks you to select a list of resources that you would like to uh, be included in this bucket. So let me say I want roles, users, user groups. Mm secrets so i've selected these resources i want to be within my custom resource group and the scope would be all including all organizations and projects and let's save it go back to access control it's listed under the resource groups and we can see what resources we've selected and what's the scope that uh, it specifies or corresponds to now let's go and create a customized role and call it custom account role since we are at the account scope save it and give the permission so let me give all permissions for roles all permissions for users and all permissions for user groups save it and go back to access control. Now our uh, pieces that fit together for role assignment is ready. We have our custom resource group and we have our custom role. Now we have to assign it to the users or user group. So let me create a new user group and call it custom user group. Let's specify account since we are at that scope, save it and do the role assignment. So let me first add the role that I just created, which is custom account role. Here you have three options to select. First two would be the built-in resource groups and the last one is the one that we just created. All resources, including child scopes, again gets propagated to the organizations and projects that are created within this account. All ac account level resources is specific to the resources within, this, within the scope of this account. But let me choose custom resource group and say apply. And now when I add any member to this custom user group, they can perform actions which are defined in this role and they can access, do the actions on the resources which is defined in this resource group. So similarly, we can also go one level down and go to organization, maybe create another one, say custom Org. go to access control let's take the 
built in ones here and create a new custom role so all permissions for roles again all permissions for project which are created within this organization all permissions for user management and user groups and say apply now let's go back go to user groups and say let's do the role assignment now let me select the role and let me select the built-in resource group and say apply again any member that i add to the custom org user group will have the permissions based on the role assignment that we just did thus you can basically fine grain the permissions and access at any scope and any level and then uh, manage control to your resources accordingly.